this is the third and final video on e-bikes how much torque do I need a quick recap 250 watts is the UK limit for it to still be classified as a push bike so you don't need to pay tax and things like that and that's very easy to easy to achieve 250 watts uh, so most manufacturers differentiate their products based on how much torque. The lowest you can get uh, is this here, Emotion Hub Drive. It puts out 25 newton meters at the hub. Bosch Active Line, 40 newton meters at the crank. Uh, so with gearing, uh, that gets uh, about 210 newtons of force at the wheels. Uh, with the hub, uh, the force at the wheels is 71 newtons, 70 newtons. And these values are from the first video, so you can check that out. Okay, so at the shop, they'll tell you the torque helps you accelerate. So the more torque you have, uh, the bigger the force, so you can accelerate faster. Okay, so bigger force here, and we know F equals MA, so the bigger the force, I can accelerate three times faster. So that's quite fast, isn't it? Three times faster. Yes and no. So in the previous video, we talked about the 0 to 15 well, top speed, um, and that came out to be about 12 seconds. Let me just look at the previous graph. Um, so that came out to be uh, 14 seconds, a bit more than 14 seconds, about uh, 12 seconds or so. So something like this 14.2 seconds. So definitely faster to get to top speed. Um, ah, They'll also tell you torque gets you up the hill or into a headwind. So if, you, if your motor is too weak, you won't be able to go up the hill. We need to draw a diagram that we're going to assume bike and rider combined is 100 kilograms. Okay, we're going to take gravity to be 9.8. So here we have not, uh, mg, which is equal to uh, 980 newtons. The question is, uh, how steep can this bike push up the hill? Okay, so if uh, if I'm if I'm riding the nicer one of the Bosch Active Line, I've got 210 newtons here. How steep can I go up? Okay, so we need to resolve forces here. So this is uh, A level mechanics uh, or mechanics maths uh, or physics. Physics would also study something similar. Um, so let's resolve forces. Mg sine theta equals 210. Now, if you're not familiar with how to how to get to this stage, um, don't worry about it too much. You could draw a triangle and and use a ratio of lengths. Um, for now, just just trust me on this. Okay, so uh, sine theta would be 210 divided by 980. So theta, get the calculator out. 210 divided by 980. Shift sign that, make sure I'm in degrees. Uh, I can go up a slope of 12.4 degrees. Uh, what is 12.4 degrees? Well, if I want the if I want the, um, the gradient as a percentage, I need to do tan theta. So tan theta would be 21%, 22%. Okay, 22%, which is very steep. Okay, so with the Bosch Active Line, I can go up pretty much uh, uh, any hill. We'll come back to that because this 22% might seem like you can tackle any hill, uh, but there's a caveat. Okay, let's repeat this calculation for the uh, the weaker motor. The weaker motor is 71 newtons. Uh, so it's on the calculator, 71.7980. So I can hit a 7.3% gradient. Okay, so here's Crystal Palace um, in its profile view. Uh, so most of the action happens early on, uh, 6%. So 7%, maximum 9.4% for, for about 40 meters. The rest of this part here, if you average it overall, it becomes 5%. Okay, so here's Box Hill, 5, 6%. If you look at down here, max gradient, 6.6%. .6%. So Box Hill is actually, an, it's actually a flatter hill than Crystal Pass. And you were thinking, uh, no, Box Hill is quite hard to ride up. Uh, it's quite steep. Well, actually, it's probably because you're getting tired on the way up. And so the last part feels steeper uh, in terms of, uh, absolute steepness, it is not a steep, so from the motor's perspective, um, both motors would be box hill, um, whereas the, the weaker motor would struggle on Crystal Palace. Okay, so more torque means I can go up a steeper hill, so it's better. Yes, but it doesn't mean you can go up the hill much faster. Okay, let's just remind ourselves that this motor is limited to 250 watts. 
Uh, let's consider this from an energy perspective. So as we are going up the hill, we've got um, GPE. And the equation is GPE is mgh, so mass times gravity times height rise. So if I'm going up uh, at my power, my rate of change of energy, so power, would be mass times gravity times the velocity which I'm going up. I'm going to call this y dot, okay? Um, just So y dot is how fast I'm going vertically upwards. So 250 watts is uh, mass 9, 9 100, 9.8 times y dot. So we can solve that. So 250 divided by 980 is 0 0.255 meters per second. So my vertical speed is 0 0.255. Uh, let's draw that on a diagram. 0 0.255 here. I'm traveling along the slope, so I'm going to call that speed V. Let's work this. Let's call this one here. X would be 0 0.255 divided by X times 100. So that comes out. I'm just going to simplify. I'm just going to drop this last 5 here. So 25 over X. Okay. Um, so what's x? Well, x is this distance here. Uh, so a bit of Pythagoras theorem will let us get to x. Okay. So v squared minus 0 0.25 squared square root or that that's going to be x. So I'm going to put that in here. What am I trying to do? Am I trying to solve it? No. I'm trying to see the relation between percentage gradient. Uh, so that's steepness and how fast I can go up the hill. Um, how do I see what this looks like? Well, uh, I can put, go online, put in Desmos, I can go uh, graph it on Excel, I can get a graphic calculator, or I can do it uh, properly, okay, and get a table of values, okay. So here I have a table of values. Um, I'm going to put 0.5 these are the speeds of interest, okay, because my e-bike has a top speed of 7.5, okay, so I'm interested in speeds from 0 up to 7. Um, I'm going for a bit better resolution down here because I think this is going to be a reciprocal type graph. So it's going to be very steep at the smaller value, so I would need more points up that way. Okay, so uh, using my calculator. If I go at, say, full speed, 7 meters per second, something like that, I can go, I can take on a gradient, 3.6% gradient. This is not realistic because I've neglected mechanical resistance, I've neglected air resistance. Let's pretend that the rider is overcoming those resistance. 250 watts can get me up 3.6% grade at 7 meters per second. So what about Crystal Palace? Because I live in Penge or something, I've got to get over the hill every day. 7% gradient somewhere around here. Okay. 7% somewhere around here. Three and a bit. Yeah, three and a bit. Three and a bit meters per second. Well, that's not slow. I mean, it's not fast, but it's seven, eight miles an hour. It's definitely moving along. For the Bosch Active Line, it can take up to 22% gradient. And that's at, in first gear, 22% uh, gradient, so that's 22%. Uh, so that's between 1 and 1.5. So, yes, it can go up a hill of 22% gradient but only at one and a bit meters per second. Yes, it can go up a steeper hill, but not very quickly. Okay, 1.1 meters per second. But that's because the steep, the hill is ridiculously steep, 22%. Then it will go at three and a bit meters per second. So it will go no faster. It will go at the same speed as the bike, which had a weaker motor. So when is it better? Well, it's better if it's steeper, uh, for steeper hills. It will get you going, but it won't get you going super fast. It won't be able to maintain the, the 7 meters per second, you know, 15 mile an hour top speed. Okay, To do that, you need more power. Okay, Otherwise, you would break conservation of energy and we would not have climate change. The marketing will tell you talk gets you up the hill. Yes, it does, but not any faster.